What's God referring to when he says that? When we refuse to acknowledge him before our brothers and sisters, we're insulting Jesus Christ. When we refuse to help one of his very own, we're refusing to help Jesus Christ. I don't know about you, but I don't want to go out on that. That's not how I want to go out. In fact, I know I have an eternal home. The word says so because I've accepted Jesus Christ. But that command goes beyond that. It requires us to take care of his sheep. We are the shepherds of that field. And as I was called to go talk to the mountain man last week and, and then this week, I believe mountain man is an angel of God. I helped one of God's angels to continue that path. Some people may doubt it. Some people may say, that man has lost his nuts. He is crazy. Have you ever sat down and talked to him? He's not that crazy. In fact, if you find out in talking to him why he is so dramatic, he used to be a professional actor. Did anybody know that? You wouldn't know unless you talked to him. And in fact, he acted at Coney Island. Have you ever been to Coney Island? Back when they had the big Ferris wheels and all that stuff going on, he was talking about that. And the straight jacket thing that he does at the fairgrounds, if anybody's ever watched that, he acts a little bit. That was an act that he did back from Coney Island. Who would have ever known? Who would have never known that? But to me, he's an angel. He's persistent. And in fact, he's out there Thursday, Fridays, and Saturdays. He puts in 60 hours. 60 hours out of those three days. He has 72 in those three days, but he works 60 hours of those for the glory of Jesus Christ in that spot. How many of you would be willing to do that? How many of you would be willing to endure the cold and the stuff, the elements, to go out and proclaim God's word, to have people come and beat you up. Yes, he's been beat up. He's had kids come by and throw things at him. He's been stoned. He's had people come by and yell profanities at him and, and cruel acts. He'll walk down a road and kids will come out of cars and just beat him to a pulp. This is God's angel. How can we not protect him? But to do that, we need to take care of him. And the other angels that we find, because they're meant to come and protect us. I'd like to end today with uh, something that I hope to see in the paper this week. Uh, but one of our family here has written a letter to the editor. And I want to close with this letter to the editor, which will be on YouTube. I found out some news that disturbed me this week. The mountain man, the man that stands in front of Walmart singing, was kicked off their property. When I talked to the manager at Walmart yesterday, she told me they had complaints about the songs he was singing, that they were too religious, and that they did not like it when he said, God bless you. Yes, you heard me correctly. I hope I'm getting your attention. Somebody complained because he said, God bless you. Are you kidding me? It's probably the same people who don't want God in our schools or in nativity in the town square or the Ten Commandments posted in the courthouse. I'm more offended by the people who set up shop in front of Walmart bugging me to buy stuff and then an old man singing songs and spreading a little joy around our town. Maybe he's different. So what? Jesus was different. John the Baptist was different. Perhaps he's an angel walking among us. And this is how we treat him. This is why our society is in the mess that it's in. Walmart, shame, shame on you for allowing a minority of people
dissuading you to do something you know isn't right. Listen to this. According to the manager, everybody in the store loves him. Hmm. What a strange way to show. I don't know this man. I don't know his story. But I do know when I see him around town, he makes me smile. If this letter offends you, God bless you.